If you thought the previously leaked information for the Ancient Gods Part 2 was big, wait until you see what we have today. Earlier this morning, Bethesda mistakenly put the Ancient Gods Part 2 on their official store page. With this mishap came multiple new screenshots, demon reveals, and the official art for the second expansion. The store page has since been taken down, but thankfully we now have a reveal date for the teaser trailer. Before I get into all of this, I would like to warn you that there are obviously massive spoilers for The Ancient Gods Part 2. If you are not interested in seeing this until the reveal trailer or the release, I would suggest clicking off now. With all of that being said, let's get into this. I'm going to start off with my personal favorite reveal from today's leaks, that being the new enemies. There is one enemy in specific that will make a lot of fans happy, that being the Chain Gunner. The Chain Gunner was first introduced in Doom 2 and made an appearance in Doom 3. Since their reboot in 2016, the Chain Gunner has been absent from the Doom franchise. But today, I am more than happy to say that he is making a return as one of the five new demons coming to the Ancient Gods Part 2. In this screenshot, the Chain Gunner seems to be a variation of the Shield Fodder Demon, sporting a yellow shield and red armor with the classic Chain Gun weapon. I'm assuming that the Chain Gunner will be a whole lot more resistant than the normal shield fodder demons, and the plasma rifle will most likely not work on their shields. With that small amazing news out of the way, it's time to get into the next demon. The Armored Baron is a new Baron variation with a new suit of armor and a charged fist attack. There was no official screenshot of the new demon, but it can be seen in the cover art for the expansion. There isn't much else to say about the Armored Baron, it seems like a challenging new demon that will take more focus and skill to efficiently kill. The third confirmed demon is the Cursed Prowler. The Cursed Prowler is described as a mutated prowler with venomous claws. I'm assuming that this version of the prowler will be extremely hard to kill and will be way more resistant than the normal prowler. I can see this new demon having faster attacks along with some more advanced teleportation and having some more lasting effects. Aside from the three new demons, the final two demons have already been announced. The Stone Imp and Screecher will be introduced in the second expansion and will certainly change the game. There was an image of the Stone Imp included in the leak. I personally think it looks pretty cool. I like the yellow attacks in contrast with the grays and purples. It seems like we have a really good lineup of demons for the Ancient Gods Part 2. Now to get into the levels. The first level we have is the World Spear. The World Spear has been mentioned before in the Codex entries as the location that the Elemental Wraiths were created. This seems to be an extremely important place in the Doom universe, and I am more than excited to see it in person. Nothing was really said about the location, but it is nice to have visual proof of its existence. The second level we have is Reclaimed Earth. The level seems to take place on Earth after the demonic invasion has ended and the Icon of Sin has been killed. The description stated that the purpose of the level is to find a hidden gateway to a different world. I'm assuming that this will either take us to the World Spear location or to the Ancient Gods Part 2's final level. I would like to give a short shout out to Cynic the Original, another Doom YouTuber, for the first few images as I was personally unable to get them from the now deleted store page. But anyway, speaking of the final level, Immora is the last bastion of the Dark Realm. This is where we will hunt down the Dark Lord and rally the last Sentinel troops in what will be the Doomslayer's final battle. This looks very interesting, and I'm very excited to see this level in person. Finally, although no screenshot was given, it seems that the final boss battle will take place on its own fourth level. The game's art seems to show the final battle with the Slayer going up against the Dark Lord. This art also seems to reveal the Dark Lord's final look. I am personally extremely excited to see this in action. Let me know what you think about it down below. We also get a glimpse of the Slayer holding the Sentinel Hammer, the new weapon being added into the game's second expansion. Judging by the art, I think it's safe to say that the Betrayer will gift us his hammer at some point early in the expansion. It seems like he has his own hammer, though, as he can be seen wielding a Sentinel Hammer with a purple glow. The Sentinel Hammer was leaked along with the Achievement leak a couple of days ago, just like the rest of these levels. As our last bit of news, this is coming from the official Doom social media pages. Doom Eternal The Ancient Gods Part 2 will be receiving a trailer on the 15th of March. I think that it's entirely possible the trailer gives us a reveal date for The Ancient Gods Part 2. With the DLC seemingly extremely close to launch, I wouldn't doubt that we will see the DLC drop in early April, but it could be sooner. Until the trailer next week, all we can do is speculate. Thank you all for watching this short news video, I hope you enjoyed getting this large glimpse into the Ancient Gods Part 2. If you did, please consider leaving a like and subscribing as it would really help out the channel. 
I would like to thank you all for your recent support on the channel. I have enjoyed making these videos, and I plan to keep you all updated on any news regarding the Ancient Gods Part 2 that is released in the coming days. Again, feel free to give your opinions on the content seen in the video down in the comments section. Until next time.